Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial, uh, Altium tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you guys another tips and tricks using Altium. Um, I'm going to focus on making a board outline. So how do I change the size of the board, how do I make it different shapes. So if you can see this is quite a massive board and my components are quite small. So how do I make this smaller. I'm also going to show you guys how do I give rules to a specific uh, net, a specific wire on my schematic so when I take it over to my PCB the rules will already be there so what I mean by that is let's say I want VBAT to have a one millimeter thick track but VBUS doesn't have to be more than 0.5 millimeters or I want VBUS and ground to be a certain distance apart how can I tell me how can I tell Altium on the schematic already to think about it so when I take it over to the PCB it will already be uh, the rule will already be there and I can't make a mistake. So if you want to learn how to do that, please just stay tuned. Um, open Altium, join me in this, and then hopefully we can learn together. Great, so the first thing we're going to focus on is how to make a board outline. So a board outline is just a layer that you can find in your mechanical layers so if I push L I will directly go into my layer configuration or I can go to the bottom left here and just click here I think there we go um, so what you can do is sometimes there's a board layer there sometimes it's not if there's no board layer you can just right click and then add mechanical layer add um, over here a layer type will be board so I'll show you guys if I delete this boom, add layer board, board, uh, so I can make a board outline, and there we go, board outline, and it will be board. So to do the outline, we just say PL for place line, that is not correct, that's on the top layer, so we have to make sure we're on the board outline layer at the bottom here. So push PL, place line, there we go. So if you push shift and space, you can change how it works, how it looks. So we just want normal straight angles. And there we go. You have to make sure that it is perfectly connected in all places. So there should be no open spaces, otherwise it will start giving errors. So how do I make a board outline? I just highlight all these. And then I go to Tools, Design, Board Shape, Define from Selected Object. So they're complaining about something. Let's read. So it says, could not find a closed shape. That's what I spoke about earlier, that it has to be perfectly close at 25.454. So if you go, oh, we don't want that. So if we go at the bottom left here, you can see the, so it's 54. So as you can see what happened is I didn't highlight everything. So only I missed this part. And that means it will, like you have to highlight everything. So if we highlight this, it should work. Boom, there we go. So now we have made a board shape out of our outline, as easy as that. So if you push three for 3D, you'll see it's nice. So that's how you make a board outline. So what, what that means is you can make any shape and you'll be able to make a board outline. So it can be triangle, it can be circle. Um, so anything's possible in 2D. So let me show you guys. So if I delete this, I can say place circle if I want to somewhere. Arc, full circle. Now if I say design, board shape. Now I've got a circular PCB. How cool is that? So anything's possible shape-wise in a 2D environment. Now that we have made our board outline, uh, we can start focusing on how to set rules for specific parts of my schematic. So earlier I mentioned it's called a parameter set. So if I use P place directive parameter set, I can place this anywhere where I want to create this rule. So I want to create a rule that says my VBAT signal must always be 0.5 millimeter thick. 
So what I can do is I can place it there. So every, everywhere the VBAT is connected, so even there, uh, even wherever else it is, it's only these two there, it will be like, so if I double click on it, so guys properties always double click or just click on it, you'll see on the right hand side here. I can go, I'm gonna call this, change the name of it. Uh, let's call it VBAT rule, very original. Now you can see at the bottom here, I've got rules, classes, parameters. I will speak about classes in the next video, um, but now we're just gonna focus on rule. So if we go add rule, you can see it's all different rules. So there's clearances, short circuit. So what I wanna do is width constraint. So I said, I don't want it, preferred is 0.5. Uh, so let's be 0.4 and 0.6, it's always a minimax. So that's okay. It even gives it to me. You can hide this if you want by clicking the eyelid here. So I save this. Now it won't be on my PCB immediately. I have to update my PCB from my schematic. To do that, I do designs, update PCB document, and I'm gonna see it's gonna add. I don't wanna add the rooms. I'm just gonna add my rules, my width constraints. Execute. So now you'll see, let's say I'd say place track PT and I go from here. You can see that is a normal 0.254. Guys, how I did that is if you start routing, you push tab and the properties will pop up. So that's 0.54. So if I go VBAT, you can see it's already a bit thicker, it's 0.5. So my rule worked. That just means when you start doing the schematic, you can already start thinking about what rules are important. So if you've got powers, um, if you do a lot of power electronics, it's very important your track thicknesses, your clearances. So that's very important. So there's other rules you can also use. So let's say, for example, I don't want VBUS very close to any other component. So what I can do is I'm going to go back, place, directive, parameter set. Now I'm going to make this, guess what, VBUS rule. I'm going to add a rule again. And as you can see, there's clearance constraint. So here I can say, I don't want you to be, so now it will be 0.254 millimeters, uh, closest will be to any track. I'm gonna say, I don't want you closer than 0.7. So I say, okay, okay, you can hide this. Um, so what we're gonna do is we made a rule, 0.7 track, like I said earlier, you have to tell the computer LTM, please take this information to the PCB. I'll speak about rooms also in another video. So now, if we see we take a random one ground, you can see I can get quite close. It still stops me to get to certain places. But if I take V bus, hopefully, yeah, it's already complaining there. So it's, I said it's not allowed to be closer to a track, so not the rest. So if I create a track here, check the difference. So on the right hand side, you can see the distance between a pad and this is the distance between a track. You can see it's way bigger. So our rule worked. Just wanna go through the rule again. So it's only the track. So track to track is 0.7. So as you can see here, track to track, that's not VBUS, so it's very small. This is VBUS, it is big. I hope you guys can see what happened, it's magic. So again, this one track, you can see it's very close to another. So the gap is the small spooky cover you see around the track. So I'll leave that there, and then I'll take this, and there you can see the difference. So it's definitely, so the clearance is that distance here between that edge, that edge and that edge is the clearance. Fantastic. So now you guys have learned how to take a parameter set on your schematic and create a rule. So you won't forget to take this rule over to your PCB. So this is the same way we do differential pairs. Uh, in the next video, I will explain to you guys how to use the net. Um, so if we have this, how to use the net classes. So net classes basically I can create like I mentioned a blanket. Um, 
using this, a blanket, and then everything inside that blanket will be a rule. Uh, just quickly guys, I want to show you guys actually what happens now. There's two ways of doing this rules. So this is a schematic way that you can just take your rules from the schematic so that when you design the schematic, you know exactly that you are taking the rules across. But if you don't do this, you can still do it in your PCB design. So if you go design rules, you'll see actually that my 0.5 for my VBAT is already here. So you can actually do it here as well. You can see the same as here, VBUS 0.7. So when you do on a schematic, it's the same as doing it in your design rules on your PCB. But I just prefer it like this because when you design, you can straight away say, cool, that I know has to be that. I haven't done my PCB yet because I always do my schematic first. So I won't forget that this has to be thicker. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoyed it and learned something, please like, subscribe. Uh, let us know what we can help you with with PC designs and we'll make more videos like this. Uh, in the next video, we'll speak about classes and go more in detail about the design rules and how to actually use maybe custom queries. Uh, you can write some, not code, but um, more stricter rules uh, when things get a bit complicated. Guys, have a fantastic day, fantastic night. Uh, thanks for joining again. Until next time. Bye.